but in the same time, it's I'm just glad to win. I just it's because there are so many times where I've had great games and given up five goals, and, you know, and sometimes you still win. And, you know, that's the thing. You got to find different ways to win. You stepped up for this team on this road trip, especially you know with Sergio Bobrovsky not feeling well. How much has you know playing these games kind of helped you really get into your rhythm, get into your routine? Yeah, I mean, you just don't think as much. You just kind of just play. Which is nice because I like to play hockey. <laughs> you know, I don't like to just. I mean, I love practicing and stuff, but it's at the same time, it's like I like playing games. So. What was it like, you know, early in this game? That's obviously a, a very difficult moment having mm-hmm. to watch one of your teammates yeah. leave the ice. What was the beginning of the game, especially like trying to balance the emotions mm-hmm. what you were watching, but also trying to yep. stay focused on competing? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, I mean, I, I hope that he's, you know, I haven't really heard much about it yet, but I, I hope he's doing well. I, so, yeah, I mean, he's obviously a great guy, a great teammate, an awesome player, so he's, he's awesome. You talked the other night about wanting to get off to a better start for the game, and then tonight you got what, four shots in the first period. Like, how are you able to maintain your focus in a game like that to the point where you complete the shot? Yeah, you just kind of play almost like, I like to play like, like something almost like many games to myself, like just get through the first period, get through the second period, third period. The same as that. So, and, you know, you're, you're just trying to focus on shots or, you know, stuff. You just, you just play. And are you gonna get the scores like a steak dinner or something? Mm-hmm. Nice you made in the third I, I, I owe him a lot. Yeah, I owe him a couple of dinners. That's for sure. He'll be getting something for sure. George, <laughs> Richards, Florida hockey now. Hey Spencer, congratulations. I just wanted to ask you a little bit. This was your fourth consecutive start. Really getting, you feeling like you're really getting into a rhythm here at the NHL level? Yeah, I mean, oh, it's just nice to play. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think just playing hockey. That's why. That's why I started playing. You know, just to play games. Cool. We got. Again, yeah, we talked about it. Go ahead, Colby. Thanks. I just wanted to ask you real quick about your mask. I know uh, Teddy meant a lot to you and your community in, mm-hmm. in uh, Connecticut. There. I mean, what does it mean to you to kind of have that tribute on your mask, and as well as get your first career shutout with Teddy on the mask? Yeah, you know, I think it means a lot. Um, not really to me, but uh, to more people in my community. I think uh, besides the shutout, the shutout thing doesn't really mean anything. Um, like when every, every time I got this stuff on the ice, it's just like another chance to represent a lot of people. And uh, I didn't, I didn't know Teddy, but um, I knew people who did, and I knew his teammates. And you know, I think it's just good to do. Um, it means a lot to a lot of people. And, yeah, I don't know.